Welcome back, YouTube. Today, I thought that we would go ahead and revamp our cobblestone generator into several cobblestone generators that look nicer and are more easily expandable. So, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that uh, from beginning to end, including all the recipes and cooking that you have to do. I've gone ahead and gathered all of the raw materials, and the first thing we're going to need is an alloy furnace which you make like so with just brick just like a regular furnace would normally be made okay and we'll place that here we're gonna need uh, red alloy wires later and to make those you just it's for every four redstone you need one iron ingot and in addition to that we are going to need some brass which you make for every one tin and I believe it's actually three copper but a little bit of overkill is no big deal so we need three of this type of alloy and two of this so one coal should be plenty for that and there you go red alloy ingots and to make the red alloy wire you just put three of these in a row in your crafting table and um, that gives you the wire we're also going to need to make a timer I'll show you how to make these stone wafers and you use the stone wafers along with several other recipes to put things together and to make the stone wafers all you have to do is take regular stone and put it in your furnace and the resultant item is stone wafers okay right there so let's go ahead and get our wire out and get the frame of this started we're going to need cobblestone all along the back and two wide okay and then we're going to need cobblestone here leaving one space in front okay and I like to put pressure plates here and here so that I can walk in because the water stream will be right here alright and you need to block that water from flowing out by doing that okay your breakers are all gonna go right here so let me show you how to make the breakers next to make breakers you're going to need um, more iron than I have on me currently but that's pretty easy to fix so let's do that first okay I believe that's right we're gonna need eight pickaxes okay iron pickaxes alright and the recipe is piston in the center redstone at the bottom cobblestone all along the sides here and your iron pickaxe on top okay so this is a red power 2 item it is extremely useful particularly for this purpose and we will go ahead and place those next. We are going to have to get to the back of this, but I'm going to go ahead and do that from the roof later. So let's place our block breakers. We place those two tiles from the retaining upper wall here, okay? Alright, there are our block breakers. The cobblestone will form right here. Alright, and we're going to put tubing above those. And water right here, which we'll go ahead and add next. I don't actually have an infinite water supply, so we're going to run out here and grab a little bit of water from this little pond and we're gonna make our infinite water right here 
Okay, so you don't have to put water in every spot. You can do it like I'm showing you here. Um, it just needs to be flowing in all the different areas. So as you can see, this is covering three. So the next one goes there. And then we only need one more. And that one goes. Actually, this is uneven, but it doesn't really matter, so we'll put it there. As you can see, that gives us water flow the entire way. Okay, so next, you'll need lava buckets. And there's an easy way to get lava using equivalent exchange. It's two gunpowder, your empty bucket, and one redstone. Okay, and that gives you your lava. The lava goes right there. Okay. And you can see the obsidian is already forming. And technically you don't need as much lava as I'm putting here. But I like to uh, try to be thorough. Okay, so that is where the lava goes, and you it's going to form these little bits of cobblestone, but you can just break those, and it won't do that anymore once you do. Okay, and then the next step, once we have that, is to just uh, put in a tubing system so that we can activate the breakers kill any creepers that might be after you <laughs> as you've probably noticed from my previous episodes creepers very much like me so this is where our tubing will go all right and our tubing is made with brass which I showed you how to make earlier and you just place the brass like so and glass in the center and there you have tubing okay so we're gonna lay our tubing like so and we're gonna have it go right into that chest right there okay you can open the chest even with tubing above it that's not a problem at all um, in fact if you want, you can, well, you can hide it in walls or do whatever you want to do with the tubing. So the next step is to put in the redstone wire. And technically, you can use redstone tubes, but uh, we'll do that little upgrade in a future episode. Okay, so simply run your redstone. Let me think about this a moment. We're going to have a timer in here, okay? And I believe we can do it this way. All right, and we can put our timer. Let's see. I believe in my last configuration I had the timer right here against this and it can't share so what we'll do is we will break that and lose it it's not really a big deal and let's go make that timer I'll show you how to do that Timers are a lot more complicated. You need those stone wafers, okay? And you need a whole bunch of redstone. So the first thing you need to know how to make is this recipe here, okay? Stone anode. And the next thing 
is stone wire. I believe you only need three, but we'll make four to be sure. All right, you're also going to need a stone cathode, and you will need uh, whoops. You will need a stone pointer. Okay, and the recipe, I believe, let's hope I get this right. There you go, that's the recipe. You put the pointer in the center, the cathode underneath, the A nodes to the sides on the bottom, and you put the stone wire around the pointer in the remaining spots, and you put stone wafer in the upper corners. There's your timer, right there. So let's get that into our hot bar, and we will sleep so that we do not die a horrible death over and over and over, because we don't want to do that. Okay, and let's go put our timer in. We are going to put it right here. Okay, and you can set this really low. Alright, I usually set mine at about 5.550 okay but technically you don't have to do that so next you're going to need to be able to get this timer to power this redstone wire and the way to do that is by placing a block right there Okay, and you then place like so, and then replace the block here, and then right there. And there it goes. Cobblestone generator. Okay, so then just cover this all up. Right, and we can cover this up with Red Power 2 uh, panels, or covers, either way. But we will save that for another episode as well. Let me go ahead and come in here and show you how quickly this works. As you can see, I've already almost got three stacks. And it is lovely to look at, and if you want, you can go in inside here. Um, if you'll notice this this one right here is not activating and that is my fault we will fix that in a future episode um, because I am out of time right now so uh, I hope you like this episode it's uh, kind of a tutorial for you here and if you did like it please click like if you like my series please subscribe and thanks for watching